welcome to my youtube channel so before we go to today's topic please if you've not subscribed subscribe share like my videos so having said that let's go to today's topic the main reason why we're here i shared um was it yesterday or two days ago a video of Bobiski frying bike that's Okada for Lagos with all those shakara when they do. And then yesterday I stumbled again on another video where he was saying people asking him about his breast if he's real or something. And he was so proud to say that he did a plastic surgery. That his his breast is a plastic and all those things. Like seriously, I beg. If una no person we no bob whiskey. Mona third the person may go advise that person that Bobiski because I think he's going out of his mind. Whether or not he or she will not even know how to differentiate him again. And he's been trending on social media. And the funny part is that nobody is even saying anything about it. And I don't know what example he's showing other Nigerians. Is he not encouraging people to be guy girl or da ma woman? As in, I don't understand. And he's even proud to come and say he did plastic surgery and all those things. So should all the men now start going to do plastic surgery just to be like him or something? I don't understand. So please, I personally believe that Bobiski needs deliverance. When I say deliverance, I mean total deliverance. That one we say all the pastors go gather. They go delay hand. They pour anointing all year for them. Because I don't understand. Eh? The worst part we say with all those things he's doing, you will not even keep quiet unless somebody hear what. He's still blasting on social media, and boasting up and down, doing shakara and all those things. If I know, I'm going to go advise him. And this message goes out to him. Maybe there might be somebody who knows his IG and stuff or probably share this video to him. He should go and ask God for forgiveness and probably turn the new leaf. That's if it's not too late because I'm not trying to judge anybody, but I don't see the importance of him coming on social media to show himself. He said the other time they were calling him bro, bro, who is his, who is your bro? Why are people calling him bro? Why wouldn't they call you bro? You were bro before you not turned to a uh, babe. So, <laughs> anything when people they call you, you need to take her like that. Now, the way when you choose to live your life, and because you they carry yourself on social media, people get to talk to. So, I have said that, um, I also want to just make it clear here with all these things that I've been stumbling on social media. A sister coming out to blast her old sister, calling her old sister, telling as in telling the public, as if she make a video telling the public that her sister have HIV just because her sister advised her about the way she was going on her social media platform. And it just made me to start wondering about the Nigeria movie I saw recently. I'm going to put the title of the movie here so you guys can watch it. As in, I don't understand. Your own sister advise you. Say these things when you they come social media, they talk, they blast people up and down. Say no good though, I beg. May you try, calm down, reduce all those things. Only for this girl to go do another live video again for Facebook, for social media, they tell people say her sister get HIV just to tarnish her image. When did they say they get friends as enemy? I'm not going to even know whether not friends as enemy was past. I've been a sister as enemy. How your old sister go go social media? Go they tell people say you get HIV just to tarnish your image so that people come they fear you, they run for you, say ah, you don't really get HIV or now your sister talk and more. As the, I don't know what this word is turning into. When they say air time they come. This is really a sign of it because very soon God will con con judge everybody according to his movement on earth. And I don't see any reason why a sister should go just because say person ad if person advise you, you don't like the advice. Tell the person to the person face, this your advice not they make sense to me. I believe one. Finish. Not be say you can't go social media. 
Can't go they blast your own sister, they call her name. When you know, say she know if you get HIV, just go and use that to destroy her image. And now when you don't go tell everybody now, say she get HIV, what till you want gain? What till you want gain? All those things don't make sense. And now what is that I see for this Nigerian movement I watched recently, how a sister, just because they want the progress past one, come down to, as in, Devil, come down to demon, come they torment that one, frustrate that one. If you do, go make that one get her seed and self. To the point, say that one, come they use witches, she go still go push her for witches. So many things. Eh? And when you start seeing all those things for movie, come they see the other thing too for reality. You come they wonder because all those things when they don't add for movie now, what did they happen for real life? Hmm? Sisters we turn against sister, brothers we turn against brother. All this one are the sign of end time. So I beg my people, my country people. This life, eh, nobody knows tomorrow. It's good to be good, live a simple life, be honest, be friendly. Hmm? You wake up, see the next day, say, God, I thank you. Today I commit you into your hands, take control. It's good to be good because no one knows tomorrow. And after all these things now, once you dead or something now, if not bad, you do not. Those bad things, I don't remember you for. You do good things, not good things, I don't remember you. So it's good to be good. Eh? See this guy now. May he so rest in peace, Nessie Hazo. Even till now, I think he died uh, March 31st. Till now, his video is still everywhere. All his inspirational talk. He was just a guy living his life full with wisdom, intellectually talented, you know. And I never even knew him when he was alive. But when he passed on, it really affected me because I went to YouTube. I saw a lot of his videos, how he was so, you know, I see he has something within him. He has this positive energy that he was ready to put out to, you know, bless people, bless his community, help people around. And even when he was doing all those things, he was still living a simple life. And after his death, they recall that he have like uh, 14 businesses. Hmm? 14 businesses, but he was still living a humble life and everything. And sometimes I just wonder, you know, they said the good die young. And I'm just wondering, why would somebody have the heart to take that young man's life? Leaving the children, you know, the girlfriend. It's it's just sad. That thing really affected me a lot. And it was during the time I was even preparing for one of my exams. Although the result is not yet out, so I don't even know the had come of it, but I know I did my best. But it really weighed me down. I was just feeling sad. I cried. I was like... What is this? Such a young, promising, you know, handsome guy at 32 or 33 years, and he's just gone like that. You know, it's so sad. It's so sad. And, and you know, what I'm just trying to put out then is good to be good. Because you see now, even he has died like two months ago or so, March, and we are in uh, June now. That's uh, April, May, June. And his videos are still everywhere. His clips are everywhere. Hello, guys. Yeah, I hope you people enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, share my video. And don't forget, on Thursday, this Thursday, 20th June is my birthday. So please wish me happy birthday. Mm -hmm. The baby of the house is getting old. Though. Actually, I'm the baby of the house. The last one. So today I got a cake for my birthday because on Thursday is holiday here in Germany so the shops are not going to open and since I don't bake cake myself I only bake local cake just for eating so this one look more professional for birthday so I decided to get myself this cake probably just cook um, some Nigeria food or so and then invite some friends over who we'll just drink and stuff no big celebration I want to make um, the real bed the next year by God's grace so it will just be a round figure mm -hmm. then we can celebrate dance and all the things so for now I'm just going to do a little uh, birthday stuff so that's it guys please keep your comments down below don't forget to hit the subscribe button share and like my videos i just got back actually 
and it is really sunny outside when i meet sunny it's really sunny and this is what i'm putting now now i'm thinking of removing this trouser and just probably wear something short because i'm still going out still have another appointment today by two o'clock so that's it guys thank you i hope you guys like it <laughs> i kind of like the design though it's very good cake mm. We'll see how it goes guys so that's it for today hope you guys like this little clip and yeah let's keep it pumping please if you're not following me on instagram please follow me on instagram my instagram id is uh, richie's word richie's word that's my instagram and um i'm going to do a q and a about me and everything like i said in my previous video if you have not watched it please check it out so if you have any question feel free to send them on instagram that's where i'm going to pick the questions i'm going to answer on the q a um, video i'm going to do on youtube so please send questions feel free to ask anything let's keep it going guys so have a nice day that's it for this video see you on my next video stay tuned